Hello ladies and gentlemen, and what I have here for you today is something that I've been asked to do many times, and that is the review of the Monster Heavy Metal DFC. Throughout my YouTube career, I've had requests for this, and I did do a really janky one when I first started out. Basically what I did was I held the cans up to one of my walls, and well, I just kind of described the flavor. Didn't know what else to do, and I figured in time that you know, a glass would help, it would help to see people, um, it would help for people to see, um, what I was drinking, I suppose. I started doing live reviews, and then from there I figured I'd add the glass too, and, uh, I think the first one I did the glass with kind of surprised me, because the color was different than what I thought it was going to be, uh, so I just kept that in there, and I think that was pretty awesome. Now I'm going to get to the review, and I opened it off camera to save a little time for everyone and then space. As you can see, this is like a really, really neon green. Um, the lighting isn't really doing it justice, but it's pretty bright and vibrant on this end. Um, the flavor. Let's do a drinky. It, it tastes kind of like kiwi. It's very fruity, and it's very bubbly and carbonated, but it's not very harsh. It's very smooth. Um, the only drawback to this flavor, or to the, yeah, well, this flavor, this drink, is that it has a really nasty aftertaste. And I'm talking, like, coffee breath strong aftertaste. Like, this is pretty bad. Um, out of all the energy drinks I've ever reviewed, this is the worst aftertaste I've ever had. Um, but the flavor itself is pretty good. If you can overlook the aftertaste, it's a pretty good drink. Um, I think it's really cool. It's got a really, really cool can. Let's start back here, I guess. It's got, like, smoke, and then a dude playing guitar, and a cheering huge crowd. And then in the middle here, it just goes to the rock on signs, and then it goes back around to the old, old design there. And, uh... Goes back to the dude playing guitar. I think it's really cool. I don't understand. I don't really know too much about this can. Also, there's no description on it, which I'm kind of sad about. I know it's old, but I don't know why it was made, if there was a specific reason. I know some of these cans have specific reasons why they're made and then discontinued. Um, so I have really no information about this can's history or why it was a flavor and then discontinued like why was it limited edition was it just not selling i have no idea um so if anybody actually has that information go ahead and leave it in the comments because i'd like to learn myself um yeah i think that pretty much sums it up i did a pretty quick review on this one i think it's really cool and i'm hoping this will make everybody happy who's been wanting to see this reviewed uh by me also I'm going to be using the contents of that glass for a mix video. It is Monday, and I haven't done any for a while, so I'm literally just going to end this video, upload it, and then go ahead and make the mix. So if you haven't checked that out, it's a new series I've been trying out um, where I mix energy drinks. Now, somebody commented that somebody else does this, another YouTube reviewer. I don't generally watch other YouTube reviews. The only time I ever check out things is like if it's a new or rare can that I've been wondering about but this isn't really a clever idea it's basically an idea most people can think up on their own just mixing two drinks and I'm not knocking anybody who does it I just don't want anybody to think that I'm running around ripping people off when that's just not the case um, I appreciate people's creativity for what it is and I also value my own and in that I would not directly rip off somebody's and like I said it was it's just an idea that most people can come to on their own hey I'll mix this drink with that drink and the reason I even started it was because I had three uh, NAS flavors that I really didn't need. Like, I was sending them out, and they needed to be empty. So I figured I'd just, you know, mix them up on camera, and that was pretty cool. And then I started going from there. So this will be the third installment, and it's going to feature two really rare um, monsters. One of them being the heavy metal. No, I wouldn't say really rare, but unless you have a big lots, then yeah, it's kind of rare. Um... So I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Tell my new subscribers welcome to the channel, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.